Okay, so what I'd like to do in this video is quickly show you how to create your email addresses in your new hosting account as well as change your password because nine times out of ten if I built your website I know your password to everything <laughs> so uh, a quick measure of security is to just change that password in your Bluehost and that way you can you know have the security of knowing that only you have access and know what your email password is so in order to do that you're gonna wanna go to Bluehost click on control panel login right here once you get there you're just gonna wanna type in your domain and your password and log in um, I'll be using my account for an example on here when you're in there you're just gonna wanna click on email accounts and right here is where you'll create your email account now me I have multiple domain names so I can just pick whichever domain name I want right so I can say example at whichever one of those domain names we I, I would like it to be so I could just do example at automationbridge.com put in a password twice and right here um, is you can limit the mailbox 250 megabytes is the default or you can click it to unlimited this is good if you have employees right um, you don't want them taking up too much of your server space so you can limit them to like 250 maybe 500 megabytes whatever you choose but if you're the business owner setting up an email account for yourself always select unlimited always and once you create that email address it will appear right down here um, as you can see all the email addresses I have but what's nice is the same area um, once it's created you can go here to configure email client and it will give you the screen on the stats or the settings that you need to put into either your your desktop email client or your mobile client to configure it uh, to access your email and if we go back in that same screen you have change password so if you wanted to change a password to any of your email accounts you just simply select that uh, change password link and enter in your new password select change password and that's that uh, now you want to make sure when you change your password you go to all of your email clients and update that new password because you'll need that of course to access your email but Bluehost makes it very simple as you see to both create email accounts as well as edit existing email accounts and this is exactly how you do it